Welcome back! My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time. We are still in 1981, and today we're going to talk about Scramble and Super Cobra in a rare double feature. The story of Scramble starts at a company named Konami. Konami was founded on March 21st, 1969 as a jukebox rental and repair business in Osaka, Japan. The company was officially incorporated as Konami Industry Company Limited on March 19, 1973. Konami moved into the coin-operated arcade video game industry in 1977 and 1978, releasing clones of existing arcade games, primarily Breakout, with the names Block Yard, Block Invader, Destroyer, Super Destroyer, and Breaker though little is known about these titles today. It appears that the first original game that Konami released was either Astro Invader, which was still heavily inspired by Space Invaders, or Space War, both said to come out in 1979. None of Konami's games were truly successful for Konami, who worked as a developer on these titles. Konami would turn to the Lijak Corporation to publish all their titles in Japan. In North America, Stern Electronics would release Astro Invader, and Game Plan would release Space War. It was in 1981 that Konami would first start making a name for themselves with the arcade game Scramble. Scramble is a side-scrolling shooter. The player controls a jet, flying it across scrolling levels, shooting obstacles and enemies along the way. The jet has both a forward weapon and bombs, but it has a limited fuel supply. By destroying fuel tanks, the player can refuel the jet. The game has six sections, each with a different terrain and different obstacles. In the final section, the player must destroy a base. Once that is destroyed, the player earns a flag in the bottom right corner of the screen, and the level starts over. Scramble was released in Japan in February 1981 manufactured and distributed by Lijak. The next month, on March 16, 1981, the game was released in North America, published by Stern Electronics. And that is the short history of Scramble. With that now told, it's time to play Scramble for ourselves. And here we are in Scramble. How far can you invade our Scramble system? We will see. As you can see, this is a fresh machine, so all the high scores are 10,000. I should be able to do 10,000, um, but I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to make it in the game. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to the base, but we will see what we can do. As you can see, this is a side-scrolling shooter. Uh, this is also the worst demo of a game that I think I've ever seen. It, it doesn't play. Like, the game doesn't do anything. You just go until you die. That's that's the demo. Um, we will see what we can do. The scrolling is very smooth, especially for an early scrolling game. So let's head in. Uh, bonus jet for 10,000 points. I should be able to get that. I don't know how far I'm going to get. Um... We had to let the jingle play. Uh, so this is this is the game. As you can see, the the bombs have a weird uh, pattern to them. Yeah, you thought I sh shot those way too early? <laughs> nope. Uh, I've done a little bit of practicing. Fuel is very important. Fuel is in a very limited supply in this game. So you're gonna want to go for the fuel more than anything else. You kind of want to hang out low um, because when you hang out low then then you can get a lot of the fuel and you can avoid a lot of the the rising things okay that one just didn't want to fly all right so we made it to stage two already things are going well for me uh the boss is on stage six how did i not hit that thing that whole time <laughs> that whole time what I call shenanigans on that one. Yeah, these things... What? It never went that low. Alright. Uh, apparently I didn't practice enough. So let's try this again. Well, head in. We're not gonna... We're gonna talk over the jingle this time. 
Now we're gonna do what we can. The strategy, I think, is still to stay low. Because that's where all the, the points are. Try to hit those. There we go. Refueled in full. Head back down. Try to get all the points. Just spam the gun. It's never really clear what that is. What it is we're, we're firing. I guess it, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. But it'd still be nice to know. Is it a gun? Is it lasers? Like, what are we talking about? It doesn't necessarily look like a laser, but... You know, that doesn't rule it out. Okay, back to stage two. Okay. <laughs> I swear those things are random. And that's what's that's what's doing the worst for me right now. And I cannot seem to hit them. Granted, I'm spamming, so I'm not like aiming all that well. But I still should be able to hit them fairly often. Jeez, I got lucky there. It's hard to stay low. There's so much going on. All right, on to stage three. Now, I haven't made it to stage three in any of my testing, but uh, I was gonna say we, we should be all right, but th that was that was a bald-faced lie, wasn't it? All right. Like I said I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to the mothership. Ugh. I didn't even get the high score. We're at least gonna get the high score. This is this is not an easy game. Oh, I put two quarters in. It didn't register the first one fast enough for me. All right, let's let's try again. Uh, shooters are not my strong shoot. Strong suit never have been. Um, I, I tend to focus on attacking too much. I think, and then I miss all the fuel that I needed because the bombs are weird. They have such an arc to them. Oh. Yeah, I tend to focus on offense when I should be focusing on, you know, not getting hit. Points aren't super important for me as much as progression. So as long as I can, you know, not die, things should be alright for me, I would hope. Okay, we're just we're just gonna have to, you know, hang it on the left and then go to the right. When it's time. And then they start me at the beginning of the level. That's the worst part for me. If they just let me go a little bit further on, I feel like I made legitimate progress in the game. But I got the points, I guess. Hooray. I need the fuel, I think. Ah! I was so focused on the fuel! I was too focused on the fuel. Like, did I hit it? Right. There's things I need to avoid. And UFOs and their just seemingly random little pattern. Even though it's not completely random, it feels that way when you're trying to fly through it. Alright, we're... Mm. I told you, I'm just not that good. Alright, well, we're gonna give this one more try. I'm gonna try to get the high score. I don't think I can get the, the, the base. I'll show that in the, the intro. Well, I have shown that in the intro. I'm going to make sure of it. Um, but, yeah, me actually getting there is probably just not going to happen. Apparently, me even getting back to stage three might not happen. You know, way too early there. Way too late. You just kind of have to know sometimes where the fuel's going to be. And then just kind of hope that when you spam that you actually get what you're trying to hit. Because the way that it actually goes is so... It's a weird arc. I just can't get the hang of it as well as I would like. I don't know, that one was a little late. It's such a Okay. Good. Come on, they're so small. Yeah. 
I saw it coming, but I, I couldn't get out of the way. Like I said, I focused too much on offense. I need to just focus on survival here. Come on. All right, we're, we're doing okay, I think. Ish. My dog's not happy with my progress. That's okay. I don't know if you guys can hear her barking. She is just not happy. How did I not hit that? How did I not hit that? All right, we got we got ourselves a bonus ship here. So we got ourselves the high score, and I, I need it immediately. Like it just goes right through it. Oh, it's so frustrating. All right. So that is enough for me for Scramble. They don't let me put my point, my, my initials in or anything. I just have to know that number's mine. Let's write that down. I had that number. But uh, if you're, you know, in an arcade, people want to put their initials in. They want to, you know, make their mark, not just that number's me. You know, somebody just comes along and says, prove it. Oh, right. But that is Scramble. So th that's as far as I can make it in Scramble, I should say. Uh, so let's talk about how the game holds up today. Playing the game today, the game is very forgettable for me. I've already forgotten some of the aspects of it. The part that I remember the most is uh, the parts that I didn't particularly enjoy. The UFOs and their strange patterns of movement that made them very difficult to hit. Uh, the bombs and their strange arc that made it very difficult for me to hit things on the ground. Um... The way that they just kind of moved forward continuously, which is realistic, but also makes it very difficult for me to plan my attack on things on the ground. Uh, ultimately, this game kind of feels like a prototype to me. It feels like something that was necessary to get us to better games in the side-scrolling shooter genre, uh, and we will see better games in the side-scrolling uh, shooter genre, and they w won't take too long to show up. They're going to show up pretty soon. Uh, so this game feels like a necessary step, but also one that is easily forgotten, at least for me. There's not necessarily a lot I can talk about with this game. Uh, the graphics are decent. The color choices are a little strange. I felt the same way about Missile Command. This game kind of suffers from the same thing, just kind of odd color combinations that make it difficult to look at things on the screen from time to time. Uh, the sound is okay. Nothing remarkable. Nothing that fantastic. It actually sounds like an explosion uh, when I blow something up. Um... I think there was actually a death sound for me, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm not entirely sure uh, what was going on in the game in terms of plot or anything like that. It, it feels like there, necess there wasn't necessarily any plot to the game. It was just go and shoot and see what happens. And that's not necessarily the way that I like to play games. Is just kind of getting in and go and do the thing uh, without any kind of context for it. But maybe that's just me. Um, gameplay, it's all right. It's nothing spectacular. Um, it, it doesn't hold up very well because of the lack of controls, um, the lack of, well, things that come later. It, it's, it's a very bare bones game, so it's not necessarily something that I would come back to, uh, very often. And it's easy to see why this one is easily forgotten and that there's not a lot of information for me to find on the game. So that's, uh, my modern review on Scramble. At the time, the game was received well by critics. The game was seen as the first arcade game with an actual mission for the player. The game also sold well. In five months, Stern sold over 15,000 cabinets in the United States. Scramble became Stern's second best-selling game, only behind Berserk. Scramble would spawn a prequel in Super Cobra. In Super Cobra, the player controls a helicopter in a side-scrolling shooter very similar to Scramble. The helicopter uses both a laser and bombs to destroy enemies across 10 levels, facing a base after the 10 levels have been completed. If that is destroyed, the levels then repeat. Unlike Scramble, Super Cobra features a continue function. By adding more coins to the machine, the player can continue where they died last, 
allowing the player to make it further in the mission as long as the player did not run out of coins. This was seen as quite the benefit because Super Cobra is a much harder game than Scramble. Konami was able to release Super Cobra themselves in Japan in March 1981. Stern Electronics distributed the game in North America starting on June 22nd, 1981. And that is the even shorter history of Super Cobra. With that now told, it's time to play Super Cobra for ourselves. And here we are in Super Cobra. This is a very similar game to Scramble, as you can see, in terms of graphics, in terms of gameplay. After all, this game basically came out a month after Scramble, uh, so chances are they were kind of working on both at the same time, but kind of my resources are limited on a lot of the behind the scenes of these two games. Uh, but these are side-scrolling shooters, and that is important. As you can see, they figured out how the demo works uh, in this game, so... There we go, they're not very good at the game, but then again, neither am I. There are unlimited continues in this game. I'm not sure I have figured out how to use them yet, uh, but we will try to sort that out as we go. I've done a little bit of practicing. This game is very difficult, and as best as I can tell, I probably still won't be able to make it to the base, but we'll see what I can do. I'm going to go as far as I can. We're going to invade the base and carry away booty. I'll try to get a bonus chopper. We'll see what I can do put in like 10 quarters. We'll call that good. All right, so the game is much more difficult than Scramble, and a lot of that has to do with the level design. The fact that there's you know, very limited spots for me to fly is an issue. And it's a pretty major issue. The fact that, you know, I can't just hang out at the bottom. I fired so much, how did I not hit that? <laughs> Alright, oh, we're back here. That's as far up as I go. I have to be as high up as I possibly can in order to make progress in the level. So which means, I, you know, my strategy last time of kind of hanging out at the bottom, not going to work for this game. Yeah, those cannons will shoot at you. Uh, like, I was in a spot where if he launched, that was it, and he launched. I feel like I have very little motility, mobility in this game. You know what I mean. That makes one of us, though. Alright. Fuel. To be fair, like... I launched that thing. Hey, did I make it to level two? I made it to level two. Things are looking up. The problem is that these things are insane. Like, in order to... They just kind of go at random directions. Discharge. All right. So I use the continue. It's the bomb button. That's what they mean by discharge. They notice that they start me at the beginning of level two. These guys just kind of randomly hop at you. I don't know. Oh, that was so close. I don't know if it's like a set pattern that if I come here every time, they'll be jumping that direction every time I come. Um, but it's seemingly random the first time that you come. You have no idea what's going to happen. jumped so high <laughs> he jumped so high yeah so in order to use the continue don't uh, press start like you normally would uh, you want to hit the bomb button in order to make that happen all right so we made it to level three maybe I can make it to the base but I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't say anything right now because who knows what's gonna happen How did I not hit him? How, how did that not count as a hit? I feel like they gave me limited bullets, like halfway through. Just like all of a sudden now you can only have like four bullets on the screen at a time. When 
like before they, they were letting me have as many as I wanted. This is difficult. We're gonna keep going. We're we're gonna try. But they're not they're not giving me a lot here. I'm just gonna try to avoid these guys as much as I can, but like I have such little ability to to move around up and down. Well really any direction. I didn't think that hit me. That once they make up their mind to, to come at me, there's only so much I can do. I only have so many places I can go. I just have to constantly be moving up and down for these things, don't I? I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. Okay. Well, we're doing something. There's like fuel down there that I'm trying to get. I'm just kind of spamming, hoping that there's fuel wherever it lands. Is that is that level three down? Jeez. They give me like 3,000 points for that. No, I, I don't think I got any points for that at all. I sure didn't. Now we're back to this pattern from Scramble. That's just mean! I don't... I keep on saying it, but it's true every time. I don't think I can do this. How... how do I do that? How? Game over. Alright. No! Do I not... They get... that was it? Yeah, apparently there are limited continues in this game because I put in a ton of quarters and they did not accept it. So they started me at the beginning, which is incredibly frustrating. Uh, I think that's probably going to be it for me. I, I, I don't think I can get back there. Um, and my my energy is spent. It's This is a difficult game, and to be honest, it's not necessarily worth the effort for me to keep going on this one. I, I swore I had more quarters in there and then I added more and they didn't allow me to continue. Um, so this is another game where I'm just not gonna be able to make it to the end. Uh, this game is very difficult. And once we got up to level four, I honestly did not see how I was going to be able to make it any further than that anyway. Uh, so that is uh, Super Cobra. So let's talk about how the game holds up today. Playing the game today, I would say that it does not hold up very well, uh, not only because of the difficulty, uh, but because it feels unfair, I would say. Uh, there are points where, okay, that was me, I should have known better, but other times where it just feels like there's not much for me to do. Once we got up to level four, that seemed to be a wall that I was not going to be able to get past. Um, the gameplay is much more difficult than Scramble, uh, basically because of the level design. And then they had enemies that were more difficult than what we saw in Scramble, so definitely a more difficult game. Uh, the use of continues is useful to a certain extent, but there's only going to be so much that I'm going to be able to do, even with unlimited continues in this kind of game, because of where the continues end up. And the fact that it seems like there's going to be a lot of randomness to whether I can move forward or not. The fact that these things are moving faster than my bullets, makes it difficult for me to hit them. And that was something that was true in Scramble, but it was more apparent in Super Cobra. Uh, in terms of better or worse than Super Cobra, than Scramble, I would say that this game is, it's about the same. It, it's really a toss up. It depends on what you like better. I would say that the colors in this game were a little bit better. The gameplay is basically the same, just more difficult uh, because of the level design, um, which made it arguably less enjoyable for me. Um, the sound, I believe, was exactly the same. It was hard for me to really tell the difference, but I think it was the same explosions. I think it was the same bomb sounds, all that kind of stuff. Um, the 
the game doesn't hold up well, I would say, because of the difficulty. It's nice to have continues. I love continues. Usually in a game with continues, that means I'm going to beat it no matter what. But this game didn't really allow me to do that because of the randomness of it. And maybe I just did run out of quarters and I needed to have quarters in before I could hit the continue button. Uh, that might have been the case, but I thought I had more quarters in there and it wouldn't let me keep going. So maybe there is just a limit on continues that I uh, was unaware of in the middle of my research on this game. There's not a lot on these two games, uh, but they are important to the history of video games. They are side-scrolling shooters, and that is unique at the time. But they're basically the same game. It's just a skin and uh, a different level design. Um, ultimately, though... I think this game can be left in 1981, as can Scramble. It feels like a prototype of what is to come later, and these feel not necessarily like cheap knockoffs of what is to come later, but it feels like they're not finished compared to what comes later. So ultimately, these two games don't hold up well. And that's my modern take on Super Cobra. At the time, the game was well-received, much like Scramble. It was seen as the next step in shooters, although the difficulty of the game was seen as a minor detriment. Stern Electronics would sell over 12,000 cabinets of Super Cobra in the United States in four months, making Super Cobra the third best-selling arcade game for the company, behind Berserk and Scramble. Between these two games, Konami began to establish themselves in the video game industry, capitalizing on the popularity of shooters in the industry by offering something different. We will keep a close eye on the video game company as we continue. While the games were released only a month apart, the games would have different legacies. While Scramble would be seen as the start of a franchise for a time, the game would not be widely ported in home versions. Its influence would grow slowly over time. Super Cobra, on the other hand, would receive ports to home versions, including a port to the Sword M5 in Japan in 1981. Its influence was much more immediate. We will keep track of the ports of these games as we continue. And that is going to do it for the story of Scramble and Super Cobra for now. My name is Baller Scuba. This has been Video Games Over Time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in our next video, where we'll go on a rescue mission.